So, I've got a new idea. For this video, if you're watching this, it means I've actually done it. This is not gonna be a daily vlog. This is not gonna be a weekly vlog. This is gonna be a month long vlog. Because weekly vlogs are too stressful because you have to film everything every day, edited it, edit it within the week so that it's ready for that week, otherwise it's not relevant anymore. Daily vlogs you don't get enough in. Oh, hello. And yeah, this way I get to film a little bit every day, edit it, and you can see a snapshot of my year. That didn't make sense. Anyway, today is Wednesday. It's not, is it? It's not. Today is Friday, the 12th of January, and I'm packing. Look at all this absolute shambles. <laughs> I am packing because I am moving. Um, tomorrow is the day that Helena and I get our keys for our first flat we are renting so we're not buying obviously but we are renting in west london and we have a little two bed two bath <gasps> so excited i feel like i'm gonna say excited let me i need to rest my arm my arm hurts too much i feel like i am gonna say excited way too much in this video but i am currently sorting out the mammoth amount of clothes that i have like these are the ones i'm sending to my parents these are the ones I'm sorting. That's washing. These are the ones I'm keeping. When I moved at the beginning of the year, I just bought everything I owned. Even though I felt like I had a clear out, I obviously did not. And these ones in the bathroom are going to charity because I have nowhere to put them. So, wish me luck, everyone. <laughs> Let's see how this month turns out. yes that is my christmas tree right there because i yeah I, it's, it's really annoying i keep moving around it and it's just blooming annoying guy he's become part of the family you know i i can't bring myself to <laughs> he wants to stay he wants to stay but in packing you uncover a lot of the past you uncover a lot of what your life has been and i wanted to share something with you i found my largest pair of jeans that were a size 28 UK. And I found my smallest pair of jeans, which were probably about a size 12 UK. Let me show you the size difference. The thing I want to share with you today, and the thing that's kind of nearly bringing me to tears now, is the fact that I wasn't happy in these. And I wasn't happy in these. I still felt like I had weight to lose. I still felt big. These are blooming tiny. They are tiny. Look how big they are. They are minuscule. What's, do they even, I don't know. It is Saturday, the 13th of January, and I'm sat outside my favorite coffee shop. Now I thought that they would open at like 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Obviously not, uh, because I'm sitting here in my car editing, waiting for them like a creep. <coughs> I'm only doing this because I've got so much to do today. We're getting the keys for our flat, we're moving stuff, and I cannot be like worried that I have to edit a video. So I'm here really early doing my thing. You're welcome. Wait, what day is it? 14th. Okay. What day is it? Sunday, Sunday. isn't it? Okay. Sunday, 14th of. What month is it? No, I did. Say hello. Your hair's amazing. Thank you. I, had a chat I am still packing my life after like a week. And this video is not going to be about weight loss motivation. It's going to be about declutter motivation because I had no idea. Let me rest my arm because I'm so knackered. I had no idea I had this much stuff. And the fact that I'm clearing it feels amazing. Don't get me wrong, right, so let me show you. These are the clothes I'm keeping. If you haven't ever seen these kind of like air, air tight bags before, they're amazing. You fill the clothes up and then you suck the air out. So it's good for storage, but it kind of goes against what I'm saying. The reason I'm using them is to transport the clothes and to make it look like I have less clothes because it sucks all the air out. So it looks like you have a lot less. Um, so yeah, as you can see, everything is going everything is going and it feels amazing um so i think i've still got like two more to join but these are all the bags is that creepy do you think this is creepy this picture 
or do you think it's gorgeous because I used to love it but now looking at it it looks pretty creepy um but yeah these are all full of clothes that I like like I know that what is that neon? Oh no, I know what that is. I keep looking at the bag because look, my toilet's here. And I sit on the toilet thinking, oh, but I know that that neon thing, I like that. And I like that. But it's all stuff I like, but I don't love. And yes, it's sad because I think, oh, I've wasted money. I've wasted money on the clothes and I da 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 da, -da. But the mental freedom, I think, is going to be so much more than the money and also knowing that this stuff is going to charity as well it's going to help somebody else so there is that so yeah this is my life at the moment please send your thoughts and prayers and love and uh, speed godspeed as they say um i also want to talk about these very quickly these are a pair of jeans can you see them they're like there's like glitter is that going to focus on my too close? You can't see that. There's actually like glitter in the material on the denim. But I bought these as my gold trousers back in the day. These are from a charity shop themselves. I think they're about size. They probably would fit me now, actually. I think they're about a size. What are they? River Island. Eight, they're an 18, but I think they're a small 18. And I... Ooh, these were always my gold trousers. Look at this. Because I always just used to think these are so cool. And when I fit in these, I'm going to rule the world. And they were always, always in the back of my mind. Um, and yeah, if you want to have an extra bit of motivation, buy yourself something that you haven't been able to fit into before. Because these are, it's different when you go from being smaller to bigger and then you have clothes that you used to fit into. For me, because um, I'm going through that at the moment, it's quite like demoralising. Whereas if you have something you've never worn, it can motivate. It can depends on the way you work. It can motivate you more. So, yeah, get something to motivate you as well as everything else. Anyway, that was my thought for the day. Have an amazing day. Speak soon. Bye. Good morning. It is Wednesday, the seventeenth of January. This is my life. Still, I'm still packing, but. Today's little snippet of the vlog is to show you the thing that is making my life complete right now in terms of storage and transportation. Let me show you. This is what I'm gonna show you today. It is, it looks like a storage bag. Yeah, you may know these. I may be very late to the party on this. So you just seal it by like getting the little device that you get it with and going across the top and then you put the hoover on it and it sucks all the air out. I'm literally gonna show you how small this goes. So at the moment, it's up to my, it's up to my upper thigh. Let me show you what happens. Undo the nozzle. How amazing is that? It's now tiny. Yep, that's my thing of the day. Good morning, happy Monday. Yeah, that's still happening. We are in our new flat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just, can you tell I'm excited? Can you tell I'm excited? Little shout out on my video today to Gita, who is one of my patrons. I posted about this yesterday, but I am still on an absolute high. She said some absolutely wonderful things to me that actually made me cry. Yeah, well, as everyone knows, I cry all the time, but this, I was trying to like be strong, and I was trying to like be cool, I was trying to be cool. But no, she, it was amazing to talk to her, and yeah, thank you for the amazing chat. Um, again, if you, I might start doing Skype dates, like motivation Skype dates here that are separate to the Patreon pledges. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be in the future, but at the moment I'm just focusing on actually living in this amazing flat. And I went back to my studio yesterday and I was like, oh my God, it's so small. How did I ever live here? <laughs> I've only been gone like a week. Anyway. Good morning, it's the 24th. I have some nutty muesli in my bowl and I'm gonna put a bit of this. It's amazing, this deep roast. I actually got this in TK Maxx, which is TJ Maxx in America. And it's, I would, yeah. I did not mean to um, go in for this, but it's absolutely delicious. Really, really good. I have a bit of that on my muesli. And I'm also gonna have a bit of passion fruit on it as well, which probably might not go, but hey. 
we have it and it needs eating so here we go and this is the tea i'm having today can i show you one of the favorite favorite things about our new house it's my tea drawer o m g seriously 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 So here is the office. As you can see, it's still got stuff around the place. We haven't completely finished unpacking because we've only been in a week. And I actually think we've done amazingly for how long we've been in. But um, yes, this is where I sit and work now. I have my laptop there. And we've got this, how cute is this? That's gonna be the screenshot, that's why I paused there. Look, it's pretty much all empty tidy everything i'm gonna miss this sunset i'm gonna miss this view i'm gonna miss little doggies like this one out my window and just like pretending they're mine is my hair looking better up or down up. Up. yeah really yeah it looks like all sophisticated when it's up <laughs> it looks nice both let's show a cheers <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs> so for our main, we are sharing a mock chicken and sweet potato fries with chipotle mayo. What do you think of it? <laughs> Today is the 2nd of February 2018. And to celebrate the new year and the fact that January is over, like it felt like a year, didn't it, that month? Ooh. I, um... I pinched myself with a, the with a box the other day and it, ow. Um, yeah, January felt like it was just like the longest thing in the world, right? Right, so I haven't been to the gym yet, this year yet. No, I haven't, yeah, my stuff's all here. Um, I haven't been to the gym yet. I've had like the mindset too, I've been like, I've been raring to go, but I haven't just gone, I haven't gone. So I've got my knobhead outfit on, it says psych on my t-shirt. My leggings are fire and the trainers are pink. And I know that this isn't the most flattering outfit, but one thing I have realized that I'm gonna talk about in my habits video is the fact that my, cause I'm feeling a little bit chunkier than normal. My go-to outfit is big black baggy trousers, big black baggy t-shirt, but subconsciously it makes me feel worse. Whereas if I wear something like this, like look, if I do this, you can see my rolls over the top. My arms hang out, it's not the most, my bum wiggles around, it's not the most flattering outfit, but it makes me feel like, yeah, and that's, <laughs> yeah, that's the whole point of it. Anyway, random, I'm going to a new gym today, it's the same brand as the one I used to go to, but it's a new location, so I'm going to go scout it out, I'm quite excited actually. I need to stay in, because I have two Amazon parcels arriving, but... YOLO. Don't have time for that. Nobody got time for that. Wish me luck, guys. You can stay in bed. I hate you. Oh, great. And to mark the new year, it looks like a human bird has done a crap on my car. Brilliant. Oh, I still got it. I still got it. Look at this. <laughs> I'm wearing the highest heels right now. Can you see that? Let me show you in the mirror. So this is like my go-to outfit all the time off the shoulder top, skinny jeans, and these boots, which, well, actually no, I never wear these because uh, you can see my socks poking out the top. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, Helena doesn't generally like your own heels because I just tower above her, so she's away. So I'm wearing them. <laughs> Earlier I was just like, I'm done with the blue. But actually, when I do it, I'm like, hell to the yes, I love the blue. Yep. Do you like our Game of Thrones map? Yep. Hashtag geeks. <laughs> Do you want to video you? No, because then I get the best angle if you don't video me. <laughs> what date is it? Second. Third of oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is the 3rd of February. I have Charlie round for dinner. Say hello. Hi. Charlie has been on my channel before, but she didn't want to be in the video today because she's being um, antisocial. She's only Instagramming our dinner. So, for dinner tonight, I have a new contraption, and Charlie is incredibly excited about it. 
So in this freezer, I have some whole frozen bananas. You know, you never know when you're gonna need a frozen banana. Right, Charlie? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I have this, I got this for Christmas. So here I have my ridiculously straight bananas. They're weird. And um, here we have a tropical fruit mix with mango, pineapple, and kiwi. So this is the machine. Um, you put it in there. This is by, I think this is by Geronic. It's, it's, it's like a cheap and cheerful one, but it's good. So you put the fruit in here and you go and it comes like this out the bottom. So it's gonna go me and then me. So Charlie's gonna film me do it. Oh, there we go. Look, how appetizing is that? This is what I give to my friends after 10 years of friendship. There you go. <laughs> Do you want to do a taste test? Come on, taste test. <laughs> this bit's nice. I'm not sure about the banana. It's a bit too banana-y, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like phlegm. <laughs> phlegm. You can tell Thankfully me. it tastes better than it. Yay! Well done me! <laughs> Ten years of friendship. How many years of friendship is it? We met when 15? we were... <laughs> oh no. We met when we were 17. And now we're 30. Oh god. <laughs> Ten years. <laughs> so 15 years of friendship. I'm just gonna take my... mushed up boots <laughs> and go sulk in the corner. <laughs> so it's currently... Three... Focus please, 3.14 a.m. And um, Helena's away this weekend, so I thought that I would do what I loved doing before we were together, staying up ridiculously late, because I feel like my brain works better at night. It's just, it does. I know it's not good to like stay up late, it's not good for your mental health, blah, 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 but, um, and I don't really like doing it when she's here, because I feel like it's rude. If she goes to bed, I go to bed as well. But I have been being artistic. Can I show you what I've been doing? So I have got my watercolours out. I started on this one, but I don't like that, it's rubbish. Um, so I have been painting this, it's not finished. Uh, they're meant to be clouds and it's meant to be a reflection. I followed a YouTube tutorial um, to kind of get me back into the swing of, I say back into the swing of painting, into the swing of painting, because I haven't really painted anything like this before. But I, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is like a ridiculously easy thing to do, but I just, I think it looks quite good so far. And I'm really looking forward to how it's going to turn out. I will show you more tomorrow, but I'm proud and I'm going to get some sleep now because I need to be up early actually. So maybe staying up till 3am wasn't the best choice today. But anyway, um, yeah, challenge yourself, go get creative. I mean, this, this um, canvas was like one pound from Tiger. So it's really inexpensive to get these kind of materials to show your creative side with. Anyway, go do something artistic, set yourself a challenge just like I have. Today is one of those days where I think I'm just gonna put on a bit of makeup and all of a sudden this has happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have finished my painting I'm so proud of it. It could be better, but the fact I haven't painted in ages, um, I'm happy with it. Anyway, um, I'm off to Sarah's, uh, my brother's wife's 30th family do today. So I'm just uploading my early access YouTube video for Patreon and I'm off to drive to their house, which is like an hour away, which is a lot of effort, but it's worth it. <laughs> so it is Monday. I found another green, woohoo! Yay me! <laughs> so good morning. I am in Chiswick. I have just walked. There's a train going past, brilliant. Good morning. It is Monday and I'm walking for once in my life. <laughs> for once this year. I, yeah. So today marks the day that I restart my whole fitness journey, everything journey. I needed to pick up some supplies for my new painting. Um, endeavour um, so I walked to the art shop and it was about 20 minutes each way so I'm feeling very accomplished well I'm only halfway home but I'm feeling very accomplished all done 
Do you want to come and say hello? No, yeah. Please. Okay. You haven't been on it all month. No, I've got a little vase. Mm. Hello. This one really liked the painting I did, didn't you? She walked in and went, and I don't. No, what did you say? You said. I the, said, you said, I don't like this painting. No, you said the office is too girly. I said the office is too girly. I don't like the painting. And I think I said it's shit. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and she didn't know I'd drawn it. I said it's shit. Can it be moved or <laughs> put away? And then I didn't realise you made it. And then it suddenly, as I was saying it, I was like, oh, she told me she was going to do some painting. I was like, you, you painted this, didn't you? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. And I was like, it's lovely. I want to. It was just, it was so good. <laughs> It was so good. She's ordered five out of guilt. <laughs> no, um, she was like, oh, it's so good. I thought you'd bought it. Couldn't have possibly have done by you. I didn't know you were an artist. I was like, I am an artist. Just a natural artist. I didn't know you were an artist. You just added that bit in. Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 5th of February, and I've come out to the gym. I know, my first workout officially. A first official class of the year. I came out in a cropped hoodie and blooming three quarter length trousers and it's minus one in London. It's minus one. I saw sun. You can't see that because I'm in a blooming park, 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 car park. I'm in a park, car park. Um, and it's blooming freezing. Well, it's not freezing. If there's any Canadians watching, this is like summer for you lot but um, <laughs> it was a bit of a shock to the system. So I did not want to work out today. I feel sluggish. I haven't been eating well at all. In fact, I've kind of been binging slash overeating ever since we moved into the house. Cause I'm like, it's a new house. I'm excited slash I'm not working out. I've just been making poor choices at every opportunity. So I did not want to work out today. So I looked at, to see which classes were on at the gym cause I just didn't want to do a normal workout. At this time, there is, this is the new gym I'm coming to. So I, it, it feels a bit out of my comfort zone even coming to a new gym. So a spin, I feel like I'm like too unfit for that and too la I feel too large at the moment to sit on the bike. I know it's all in my head. I know it's 100% in my head. I feel too large for the bike. There was also yoga. I don't feel like I'm strong enough to just walk into a yoga class at the moment. So there's Zumba. Zumba is an amazing, easy class, you know, ho hopefully, that I can just slide into and just get a workout done. I wasn't even going to go to the gym. In fact, oh God, I need to rest my arm. In fact, I was going to go back to bed this morning um, after Helena went to work. I know it's really bad, really bad. But um, I sent my friend, one of my best friends hates the song, you're welcome in Moana. So to tease her, I sent her a video of me singing along to it. And actually it hyped me up. I was like, why don't you say if you're welcome? And now I'm here at the gym. So if you are feeling crappy and want to go back to bed and need a boost, put on Moana, put on your welcome, or put on a song that will hype you up. Even if you don't, I didn't want to be hyped, but I got hyped without even meaning to. So I am going to go into the gym because I do, where's the ticket? Oh, where's the parking ticket? Oh, it's here. This is an annoying gym because you have to pay for your parking for the gym. You've got to pay to go to the gym every time. Anyway, anyway, wish me luck. Cross your fingers, cross your toes because I'm going to a new gym and I feel a bit self-conscious. But I have the brightest top in the world on, even though I can feel my rolls bulging, bulging over the top of my workout gear. But hey, everyone starts somewhere and this is my restart in the journey of life. Oh my god, that was the best Zumba class I've ever done in my life. It was... <laughs> I walked in like um, an unimpressed potato, honestly. I was just like, I don't want to be here. I felt awful and I've left feeling like Beyonce mixed with Shakira honestly it was amazing and i i'm such a little uh, such a little class class goody goody i <laughs> and so, i don't know why i am such a teacher's pet like in every class i go to whether i've been there before or not like i waited till she let she she walked in and it was it was all it was an older older demographic in the class which means nothing absolutely nothing obviously it's during the day it's going to be um 
older people and it was brilliant the energy was amazing she did some dance hall she did so oh my god i and i i waited outside for her and i was like i'm a class snob i said it to her i was like look i am a class snob and that was the best zoom class i've ever done i said you nailed the music you nailed the 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 energy everything she was like oh thanks anyway it was you know when you think that people go into your life for a reason i think that i did that class for a reason honestly i feel like that class is gonna well it already has injected some more some new motivation and get up and go into my fitness life so yes she's given she told me that she teaches at a different gym so i'm going to check that out and possibly move um but yeah i just want to say that a lot of people will comment saying that they are you know nervous to go to the gym and scared and blah blah, blah. and even though i've been going to the gym for years going to a new gym is probably the same as going to any gym and it's 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 weird i felt really weird so i totally understand how any of you may be feeling if you have anxiety regarding that um and i will say what i always say in those situations it, it will never be as bad as you think it's going to be ever um wear something that makes you feel like you're going to rock it like this top color anything neon makes you go faster <laughs> and just smash it just smash it anyway my arm's aching i can't even and i need to go and have some food have some eggs eggs and oh eggs mushrooms kale bacon no not bacon why did i say bacon eggs mushrooms kale tomatoes on toast mm, let's go good afternoon welcome to getting to the end of my monthly vlog if you saw my insta story the other day you will know that i accidentally deleted half of the video you've just watched so half of it is somewhere in the air i decided it would be a good idea to um, clear out my memory cards whilst editing the video. Why? I don't know why. I just thought it would be a good idea at the time. So I was like, okay, I got rid of all the junk, all the old clips, all the everything, went back into the edit and it said, excuse me, um, half of your clips have been deleted. Like 20 minutes of the video gone. I've already edited it as well. It was already done so much so many hours of my life gone um but there's nothing i can do about it so um please comment below do you like this type of video do you like the monthly vlogs i get a lot of comments saying we miss your day-to-day -day life i know i didn't film it very well like i didn't film too much i didn't film too many meals i just filmed me saying i'm gonna work out and then not and uh, i've got a i've got a I've got a confession. You know the first time in this video where I was in my white psych t-shirt and the, the fire leggings? I went to the new gym, had a strop because I didn't like it, did 10 minutes on the treadmill and left. Honestly, that's what I did. That's life behind the screen of a YouTube video, honestly. Um, I have worked out three times this week though. I did two Zumbas and one hit yesterday. <sighs> Horrible. Um, so I'm getting back to it. Tomorrow, uh, actually... I'm going to be starting Paul McKenna again. I need to get back into the mindset. I need to set myself back on track because I've been so bad eating wise during the move. And um, Helena and I have a wedding to go to in March Her fam well, on her family's side. So I want to look like fire for that wedding. I don't want to feel like I'm currently feeling, even though I feel good, I want to feel great. Um, secondly, I have had a few comments recently saying, um, you said you were going to do monthly weigh-ins and you haven't. What do you weigh? If you are here to know what I weigh on the scale, please unsubscribe from my channel because this channel is not about my weight. This is about my life. This is about me as an amazing human on this planet of life. This is not about what I weigh on the scale. This is not about my number. So, um... I said last week that I was celebrating NSVs, non-scale victories. That does not mean that I am not weighing myself. I bought this week a new scale. Number one, it looks like it's going to snap the second I stand on it, but apparently it's reinforced glass. That's trapped, isn't it? <laughs> reinforced glass. Thanks. Um, yeah, so uh, this, but this isn't only a scale. This is a body analyzer it was like 15 quid on eBay, um, on amazon so it measures body weight obviously body fat and water so 
sometimes when you say I lost two pounds this week what is that is it water is it sometimes you can lose muscle mass you can lose bone you can lose so many things if you're doing these like fad crappy diets I want to check how much fat I'm losing when I start smashing it again with Paul McKenna because I am ready I'm settled in my new house as you can see I am ready 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 to start celebrating my non-scale victories um, and let's hope I don't drop this on the floor so I'm going to finish this video with um a weigh in and celebrating my Lauren's losers. If you got to the end of the video last week, you saw that I said to you to um, message me on Instagram if you have something you're proud of, a non scale victory. And I, the response was overwhelming. So I am now going to put it over to my NSVers, Lauren's losers. Hashtag, wait, let me not drop the scale on the floor. Hashtag Lauren's Losers, hashtag NSV, hashtag go over to, um, oh, this is going to be like a weekly thing. So if you missed out last week and you want to be part of it, go over, message me on Instagram. What did you do this week that was not a scale victory? It can be absolutely anything. You can message me saying, I'm one of Lauren's Losers. Um, it's creepy, isn't it? Um, I'm one of your losers, Lauren, because I drank my water today. I... I ate slowly today, I ate consciously today, I listened to my hunger today, I worked out today even though I didn't want to, I stood up to somebody who wasn't very nice to me and I did my workout anyway, something like that, something that isn't about the scale. I am loving my hair today, how nice is it, seriously. I keep thinking I don't like it, but then I look in the viewfinder and I'm like, hey, who's that sexy mermaid? It's loser like Lauren. Anyway, um, I am done here, so I'm going to pass the video now onto my NSVers. Well done, guys. Keep the love coming into me. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching today. If you want to see more of my face, I have a Patreon, uh, which is where you can get Motivation Monday videos, much more content. There's a great community on there. You can get Skype dates with me. You can get so much stuff. Go over, check it out. Links below. Here are my amazing non-scale victory Lauren's Losers winners. Thanks for losing. Wait, no, that's wrong. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep losing, keep smiling, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.